Hello, this is a video to show you how to do in-text citation and create an APA style reference page when you're using a source that does not have a human author listed. And so we're going to use this template right here to help us make our reference page and do our in-text citation. But let's look first at the source that we're going to use. I'm working on my iPad, so I'm going to hit the home button twice and then go to Safari where my source is located. Now this source was published or created by the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA, as we can see in the upper left-hand corner. Now, I chose this website uh, to use for my example simply because it doesn't list a human author. And sometimes you're gonna come, around, come across sources that you wanna use that don't have a human author listed. So, what I would like to do is scroll down and there's a section here that talks about how they use tools and specifically how octopuses use tools. And it says that some octopuses use coconut shells and turn them over um, and use them as portable hideouts, which I think is really, really cool. So they can actually move the coconut shell, turn it over and use it as a hideout. So I'm gonna use that information in my writing. So I'm gonna press the home button twice, come back to docs, and since this is a template for a reference page and reference pages appear at the bottom of your writing, I'm gonna hit the enter button a couple times, um, or the return button a couple times. Sorry, that's old school saying enter. I'm gonna hit the return button a couple times and I actually created a sentence already and I'm gonna paste it in here. It's two sentences. Octopuses use tools. For example, some octopuses turn over coconut shells to use as hideouts. So I have this information that I got from this website. Well, now I need to cite the source. I need to give credit to the author for this information. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a reference page. So I'm gonna use this template to create a reference page. Now the way I like to do this is to create a copy of the template. So I'm gonna highlight the template and I'm gonna copy the template. I'm gonna put my cursor after the template if I can get the iPad to recognize my finger. Hit enter a couple times and then I'm gonna paste in uh, the, the, another copy of the template. And the reason I like to do this is because I like to, you know, I'll, I'll start with the group name, but I'll erase the group name in this template, and I still have the other template to guide me through to make the rest of my citation. So the first thing I need is the group name. And this is the person responsible for publishing the article. So I'm going to hit the home button twice, go back to my page, scroll up to the top because this information is usually at the top. And this site was published by the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Now, I'm going to hold my... Oh, no, that's all capital letters, and we don't want that. Uh, let's see if we can scroll down to the bottom and if they have um, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals written out anywhere. And I don't see it. I just see the acronym PETA. And we on our reference page, we actually have to write the full name of the group or of the organization. So I'm going to have to write this one out. So give me a second. So it's going to be People for... Oops the ethical treatment of animals, period. Oh, and I misspelled treatment, so I'm gonna change that word. So now I have the, the group name or the person or organization that's responsible for publishing the article, the people for the ethical treatment of animals. Next, I need the year, month, and date of the publication of this article. So I'm gonna hit the home button twice. I'm gonna go back to my article. And I'm going to scroll up to the top because that's usually where uh, the date of publication is located. But you'll notice I don't see a date of publication up here at the top. So I need to scroll down to the bottom and see if there's a date listed on the bottom. And on the bottom, I do not see... Oh, right here. General info. I see... Oh, sorry. 2020 PETA. So I'm going to use that date. It's the only date I can find on here. All right. So I'm going to hit the home button twice come back to my Google Doc, and since I don't have a month and, and day of publication, I'm only gonna enter in the year. Basically, you're gonna enter in whatever you find on the website. So if you can find the year, month, and day or date, put it in there. If you can't, just put in whatever you can find. So I found 2020, that'll have to do. Next, I, oops, I put it in the wrong place. I'm sorry about that. So um, let me hit the back button a couple times. I just put it in the, the copy that we were going to keep, right? I need to put it down here. And so, sorry about that. So it should be 2020. I was working in the wrong template there for a second. Okay, so now I need the title of the page. I'm going to hit the home button twice. 
I'm going to come back to the article, and right here I can see the title. And this is a, actually a really good example because it has a title and a subtitle, and I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to copy the title. I'm going to hit the home button twice, come back to Google Docs, and I'm going to highlight... Um, I'm sorry, I, I keep doing that. So I need to select this, and I need to select the entire title, and I'm going to paste in that title. Now, in APA style format, uh, we only capitalize the first letter of the title and the first letter, le uh, letter of the subtitle, excuse me. So the first word of the title, and I think I said that wrong, we capitalize the first word of the title and the first word of the subtitle. So the first word of the title is octopuses, that gets capitalized, and then the second word of the, or the first word of the subtitle, excuse me, let me say this all over again. The first word of the title is octopuses. The first word of the subtitle is eight armed and it's hyphenated, but we'll just capitalize both. And then I need to change um, any other word to a lowercase first letter. Now, Einstein though is an, a proper name. That's a proper noun. So I'm going to keep Einstein highlighted. And I just, so the only thing that needs to become uncapitalized is the word deep. So I have octopuses, eight-armed Einsteins of the deep. Oops, and I didn't change. There we go. So the first word of the title, octopuses, is capitalized. The first word of the subtitle, eight-armed, is also capitalized. Einstein is capitalized because Einstein is a person. Therefore, we're going to treat that as a proper noun. But then notice the words of the deep are not capitalized. All right, so the next thing I need is the site name. Now, most of the time... And for sources like this, the group name is the same as the site name. They're the same. But sometimes you'll see that there are multiple organizations that are responsible for publishing the material. So I'm going to double click on my home button and come back and just look at the website and see if I can find a different organization that's affiliated with it. At the top, I only see PETA, or People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. And if I scroll down to the bottom... I don't see any other organization that is responsible for publishing this. So when the, um, I'm going to go back to my template so you can see what I'm talking about here. When the site name is the same as the group name, or if you can't find a different, a different organization, what I can do is I can actually delete the site name, okay, and only use that group name at the beginning of my citation. So I have the group name, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, the year of publication, the title of the page, and now I need to state when I retrieved this information. And this is really important for sources that might change over time. So today is October 24th, so I need to change the month to October. And then the date, today's the 24th, and I don't write 24th with a TH, I just write 24, and then the year, See if I can get my cursor in the right place. Is 2020. Oh, I'm missing some spaces here. So I need a space in between October and 24. And I need a space in between the comma. And so basically after every period and every comma, there should be a space. So I have the date that I retrieved it now. Retrieved October 24, comma, 2020, comma, from. Now I need to enter in the URL. So that's just the web address. So I'm almost done. Double click the home button come back to Safari, click on the URL at the top of the screen. I'm going to hit the copy button at the top of my keyboard. You could also hold down your finger and hit copy. So I'm going to copy that, double click. Oh, I only single click, double click, go back to my Google Doc. I'm going to just erase the word URL because, um, because it's only three letters and I'm going to paste in my URL and bam, there is my um, reference page entry for this website that doesn't have a human author listed. So in order to finish up my reference page, what I want to do is remove all this other stuff that I don't need. So I'm going to delete the original template. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to delete. Actually, I don't need this note either, right? So, oh, sorry. I'm going to select this and all the way up to the example. And I'm going to delete that. And now, there is my reference page entry. So now I just need to put the word references above this. So it shouldn't be bolded, it shouldn't be underlined, so I remove those by pressing the buttons at the top, and then I write the word references. Okay, even though I only have one source, I always write the word references. And then this should be center justified, so I use the buttons at the top to put that word in the center. 
Now my reference page is done and I'm almost done. I just need to give credit in my writing. This, whole, this was the whole point of this whole thing, right? So we always include the author and the year of publication in our in-text citation. In this sense, or in this case, the author is the organization that wrote the website. So it's the people for the ethical treatment of animals. Now, that's a lot to write. So I'm going to copy all the way to uh, the year of publication. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come up back up to my sentence and or the end of the second sentence. And when I do citation for this, it is actually citing both sentences. So I'm going to put my beginning parentheses. I'm going to paste in the author's name or the organization's name, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, 2020, and then a period at the end. I'm almost done. I just need to clean up the middle here in between the author's name and the year of publication. So I'm going to put my cursor here uh, just before 2020, and I'm going to delete all the way back to the period, put in a comma, a space, and bam, I am done. So I have my sentences, and then at the end of my last sentence, in parentheses, I have the organization's name, comma, space, 2020. Notice that the author's name, which is an organization in this case, the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, how that matches the in-text citation matches the reference page. Whatever I see on the reference page, I see in the in-text citation. And then my year of publication matches the year of publication I see in my reference page. I sure hope this helps. Um, let, let us know if you have any questions.